CataractCoach.com. And our question today with this routine cataract case is, what do you do when you have a little piece of nucleus stuck at the angle of the eye and you're trying to approach it in that subincisional area with the phaco probe? What's the safest and easiest way to access it? If you want to see just that part, please skip ahead to about the two and a half minute mark and you'll see what we do. Otherwise, for the rest of you, let's watch the routine case here. There's a lot to learn. It's a reasonably dilated pupil, not the best, but tolerable. We make a single plane incision there, temporally, as the left eye, and we're sitting on the temporal position. And now we'll make our capsular rectus. We can see that the pupil is probably a little bit under five millimeters. And so we want to make this capsular rectus large, at least five millimeters in diameter, and that's going to mean making it just along the pupil margin here. And that looks pretty good. We'll pivot around and finish that rectus up. Now, in a case like this with a pupil that's mid-dilated at best, I like to prolapse the nucleus out of the capsular bag. This is not a very dense nucleus, so it makes it relatively easy to do that. So here comes the balanced salt solution on a blunt cannula for the hydrodissection. We get a fluid wave, another wave, and there's the nucleus. We'll use the cannula to help tilt the nucleus. And now we effectively have the pupil or the iris holding the nucleus for us. Let's recoat the endothelium with a dispersive viscoelastic. That looks great. And now put the phaco probe in the eye or the high flow, high vacuum setting. So putting the probe in the eye, here comes our chopper. We buzz into the nucleus, chopper goes around the lens, and we can split the lens in half. There we go, two halves immediately. Now simply keep the phaco probe occluded with lens material, and we'll be able to suck out the cataract relatively quickly. So again, the sole purpose of the chopper at this point is just to keep the pieces brought towards the phaco probe tip. See how the chopper is pushing the pieces, keeping them in front of the probe. Make sure the cataract pieces don't go under the probe. They need to be in front of the phaco probe tip. There you go, last few pieces. Now look, just to the right of the main incision, there's a piece of nucleus. And I don't want to risk trying to pivot and pull out of the eye and lose infusion. So I'll just come out, use balanced salt solution, there it is, on a blunt cannula, and just hydrate and push that piece, wash it out of the angle. That's a much safer option. If we just try to pivot the probe and retract the probe from the eye, you could lose infusion. Remember, those infusions coming through those side ports of the tip. So if you track the probe too much, you'll lose infusion, shallow the anterior chamber. You could even break the capsule or damage the iris. And we certainly want to avoid that. So again, the technique here is pull out of the eye, get the probe out of the eye, get balanced salt solution on the blunt cannula, and use that to squirt or pressure wash those pieces out of the angle and into the center of the eye. Inadvertent grasp of iris there, that's okay. Just release and we can keep moving. And we'll complete the cortex removal right about there. That looks great. Now there still may be another little piece of nucleus there, that sub-incisional, uh, just to the right of the main incision at the angle, but we'll find out. There's a nice Visco, uh, visco acid going in the capsule bag, a cohesive to fill it up. And we're going to deliver our IOL, single piece acrylic lens going right there in the capsule bag. Looks great. And we'll dial the lens into position. Important that we get the lens completely within the capsule bag, both haptics and the optic in the capsule bag. That's important for long term stability. And that looks great. Rotating the lens a little bit to ensure we have that. That looks great. Here comes the eye probe. But first, maybe we should use this balance off solution again and get that piece, the little piece, there it is, that little piece of nucleus stuck in that angle near the incision. Now the eye probe can go in the eye. We'll go underneath the eye well to remove the viscoelastic. And that there's that little piece of nucleus. You see it flying around. It's right there at the tip, we can just aspirate that down. Removing all the viscoelastic, there's a little bit of loose iris pigment there. We can just aspirate that out as well, being very gentle. And we'll clean up and finish this case. So we learned a very important trick today. And the trick is, if you have pieces of cataract material stuck at the angle 
near the subincisional space, don't try to get it with the phaco probe or even the eye probe. Use balance salt solution and hydrate and squirt away that piece and get it into a central area in the eye. It's a lot safer and it's a lot easier. Thank you for watching.